looking like this. Tell me, am I looking like this? Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tidai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. So in today's video, what I wanted to do is sit down and give you guys some tips on how to improve your skills in editing, modeling, and retouching softwares. These tips will apply to anybody who's ever used a software like Photoshop, After Effects, anything for 3D modeling. It's gonna tell you what you can do at the very start of learning a software, all the way to the end, or maybe when you're a bit more comfortable as to how to improve your skills and move them to the next level. I know a lot of the people who watch my videos are doing a lot of things in Cinema 4D in the 3D work, but this will apply to pretty much any video editing software or Photoshop or Illustrator or any program like that as well, so hope you guys pick something up in this video. Now I'm going to sort of work through from start to finish, so when you first get a program to maybe when you're a lot more used to it a few years down the line, or maybe just a few months down the line. So basically when you first get a software, before you do anything, I would highly recommend just messing around with it. This may seem like a no-brainer, but when you first get a program, I'd recommend that you don't actually watch any tutorials and just actually mess around with things. You know, see what you recognize, see what seems strange to you and see what you can already make before you look up anything. Now for some people that might be a lot depending on what you're used to with other softwares, but for some people it might be nothing and this sort of lets you know where you are and what your current stage is. Also one last thing for the stage is I'd recommend that you wouldn't actually change any of the windows or change the interface in any possible way just because later on when you do watch tutorials this might make it a little bit more difficult. That being said there's usually always a way to change the windows back to the original interface usually by clicking on a windows tab and going back to view mode or something like that. There's always a way to change it back eventually. But once you've messed around with it, that's when you want to start diving into tutorials. And a lot of people really want to go into the bigger things right away. I am guilty of this myself, but the first thing that you really need to do before anything else is watch a basic interface tutorial. Now what this is going to do is it's going to show you what some of the hotkeys are, the basic icons that you didn't recognize before, and you will always learn something that you did not know before. I've used many, many programs over the past couple of years, and I can guarantee if I watch a basic interface tutorial on a program such as Sony Vegas, I will probably learn about some icons that I've never used before. So it's helpful to do this this, and once again, once you finish this basic step, I would recommend that you try to create something and see if you've learned anything new. Once you have a basic understanding of the program, this is where you want to start and actually make things, but you really do have to make sure you start small. Think of something simple and just go for it. Now that's easier said than done, right? If you're thinking of something awesome, even if it is something small and you're just going to go for it, you probably won't be able to get it done. So this is why I recommend, and this is where a lot of the learning comes in, that you start for something and you just watch tutorials as you go along. Very specific tutorials how to do certain things. After you watch a certain amount of tutorials, you should be able to get your final result for whatever you're trying to go for and if you continue doing this for about five projects or so you will get pretty comfortable with the interface and many of the settings within the program this next step though is where it gets very tricky and this is where a lot of people including myself really don't know how to get past it in a lot of cases this is the stage where you really understand the software very well but you're not seeing the best results you possibly can and you know something is holding you back at this stage what I highly recommend to get a lot better is to start mimicking professionals I know that sounds bad but these people are professionals for a reason they really understand what they're doing and they have a lot to give you guys when it comes to advice, so I'd highly recommend looking them up on YouTube, forums, personal sites, there's lots of people out there always giving out free information, so I'd highly recommend looking up for that stuff. Something I've also been doing recently is actually going for paid tutorials, and though I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, Cubabrush and Lynda.com are absolutely amazing sources. I'm going through a few tutorials that I bought on Cubabrush.com not too long ago, and I've learned more about Maya from those than I have on YouTube or anything like that. Also, this may sound kind of weird, but you can go on Amazon or eBay or anything like that and look up tons of textbooks for the programs that you are interested in. And trust me guys, even though reading does kind of suck for some people, it really does help a lot, especially when you have sort of walk through step one, step two, step three for the newest version of your software. When it comes to learning a new program, the biggest tip I can give you guys is just do not overestimate things. You really do have to take baby steps. A lot of the times you just want to jump into the biggest thing that you can because it looks so cool and so awesome and you want to tackle it, but all it does will just get you discouraged and it makes you want to, you know, just sort of quit the program. You'll just get angry over it and all in all, that's just a bad thing to do. I know it's not that fun, but you really do have to start with the basics and work your way up. And that's the only real way you're going to get it done. And honestly, guys, it works for everyone else. It's really the best thing that you can do. And maybe you are more comfortable with programs than other people. And if you can jump up higher, then just go for it. But for most people, I would highly recommend to start at the very basics, even if you do recognize a lot of the stuff. Just start at the bottom, work your way up, and see what you can do from there. Anyways, guys, hopefully this helps you guys out when it comes to learning some new softwares in the future. For me, I'm currently applying these tactics to learning Maya and ZBrush, and it's working out pretty awesome so far. Let me guys know what programs you're working on right now in the comments down below and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here but once again guys thank you so much for watching this video once again my name has been tie-dye and i'll catch you in the next one see ya